Osaku Sendaba, A King Seeking of Sandeva, by Ehe Dogen, from Shobo Genzo, The Treasury of the True Dharma I. Words, no words, real wisteria and real trees, feeding donkeys, feeding horses, clear water and transparent clouds. Because this is the way it is already. In the Sutra of the Great Parinirvana, the World Honoured One says, for example, it is like a king telling his retainers, bring Sandeva, Sandeva, is one word for four products. The first is salt. The second is pots. The third is water. And the fourth is horses. These four things each have the same name. Yet, a wise retainer is able to know the meaning of this word. If the king requests Sandeva when about to wash, the retainer at once serves water. If the king requests Sandeva when eating, the retainer at once serves salt. If the king requests Sandeva after eating, when he wants to drink water, the retainer at once serves a pot. If the king requests Sandeva when he wants to go out, the retainer at once serves a horse. A wise retainer like this is able to understand in four ways a great king's secret talk. This king seeking of Sandeva, along with the retainers serving of Sandeva, have come to us from long ago. They have been transmitted in common with the Dharma robe. The world honoured one himself inevitably discuss them, and so his descendants have discussed them again and again. We can guess that those who have experienced the same state as the World Honoured One have made Sandeva into their own practice. To those who are not in the same state as the World Honoured One, when you buy some straw sandals and tread one step forward on foot, you will have got it already. Sandeva, in the house of the Buddhist patriarchs, has secretly leaked out already, and so Sandeva is present in the residences of great kings. The eternal Buddha won she of Tendo Zan Mountain in the great Sung city of Kagan Fu, in formal teaching in the Dharma Hall, preaches to the assembly. To quote, a monk asked Joshu, how is it when a king seeks Sandeva? Joshu bows with hands folded. Secho comments. It was the seeking of salt and the serving of a horse. The master Wan Shi says, Secho is an excellent master of a hundred years ago. Joshu is an eternal Buddha 
one hundred and twenty years of age. If Joshu is right, Secho is wrong. If Secho is right, Joshu is wrong. Now say, in the end, how is it? I, Tendo, cannot help adding a footnote. If we differ from it by a thousandth or a hundredth, we miss it by a thousand miles. To understand is to beat about in the grass to scare snakes, and not to understand is to burn money to attract demons. Without preferences in regard to an uncultivated field is old Gute. Extending his hand, he tackles what he picks up just now. During formal preaching in the Dharma Hall, my late master, the Eternal Buddha, would usually say, the Eternal Buddha, one she. But only my late master, the Eternal Buddha, has met the Eternal Buddha, one she, as an Eternal Buddha. In one she's time, there was a certain Soko, called the Zen Master Dai A, e, of Kinzan Mountain who may have been a distant descendant of Nangaku. The whole realm of the great song thinks that Dai A might be equal to one she. Moreover, some have thought that he is more of a person of the fact than one she. This mistake has arisen because both monks and lay people in the great kingdom of Sung, being negligent in learning, are not yet clear in their eyes for the truth, are without clarity in knowing people, and are without the ability to know themselves. In one she's comment, the real establishment of the will is present. We should learn in practice the principle of the eternal Buddha Joshu bowing with hands folded. Just at that moment, is it the king seeking of Sandeva or not? And is it the retainer's service of Sandeva? or not. We should learn in practice Secho's teaching that it was the seeking of salt and the serving of a horse. The seeking of salt and the serving of a horse is each the king's seeking of Sandeva and the retainer's seeking of Sandeva. The world honoured one seeks Sandeva, and Maha Kasyapa's face breaks into a smile. The first patriarch seeks Sandeva, and the four disciples serve a horse, salt, water, and a pot. We should learn the pivotal state which, at the moment when a horse salt, water, or a pot, and the seeking of Sandeva become one, is the serving of a horse, or the serving of water. Nansen, one day on seeing To Impo, coming towards him, points to a water jar and says, the jar is circumstances. Inside the jar there is water. 
without disturbing the circumstances. Bring some water to this old monk. Inpo then brings the jar of water before Nansen and pours. Nansen leaves it at that. Thus, Nansen seeks water, the ocean having dried right to the bottom. Inpo serves a pot, tipped over and emptied out completely. And though they are like this, at the same time we should learn in practice that in the reality of circumstances there is water, and in the reality of water there are circumstances. To disturb water is immature, and to disturb circumstances is immature. Great Master, Kyogen Shuto, the story goes, is asked by a monk, What is a king seeking of Sandeva? Kyogen says, Pass there and come here. The monk leaves. Kyogen says, His stupid response could kill a person. Now, let us ask, is the state Kyogen expressed as pass there and come here, the seeking of Sandeva, or is it the serving of Sandeva? Try, if you will, to say something. Is the monks having left that place the state that Kyogen sought? Is it a state that Kyogen served? Is it what Kyogen originally expected? If it is not what Kyogen originally expected, he should not say his stupid response could kill a person. If it is what Kyogen originally expected, it could not be a stupid response that kills a person. What Kyogen has expressed is the total effort of his whole career. Even so, he has not been able to avoid losing his body and losing his life. He is like the general of a defeated army still talking of his bravery. In sum, the brains and the eyes that preach the yellow and describe the black are naturally the painstaking and meticulous seeking and serving of Sandeva. Who could claim not to understand the taking up of a staff or the holding up of a fly whisk. At the same time, the seeking and serving of Sandeva are not the state of people who played stringed instruments with bridges glued. Because these people do not know that they are playing stringed instruments with bridges glued, they are not in the state. The world honoured one one day ascends the seat of preaching. Manjushri claps the sounding block and says, When we see into the Dharma of the Dharma King, the Dharma of the Dharma King is like this. The World Honoured One descends from the seat. Jukan, the Zen Master Mayokaku of Sechozan Mountain says, An excellent practitioner 
among the forest's sacred ranks, knows that the Dharma edict of the Dharma king is not like that. If any in the assembly is an exponent of Sandeva, why does Manjushri need to deliver a clap? So, what Secho says is this, if one clap is flawlessness through the whole body, to have delivered it and not to have delivered it, both may be the liberated state of flawlessness. If, in the state like this, one clap is Sandeva itself, and the person may be a person of the ineffable already, that is, an exponent of Sandeva in sacred ranks united as one forest. Thus, the Dharma of the Dharma King is like this. To be able to use the twelve hours is to seek Sandeva. To be used by the twelve hours is to seek Sandeva. We should seek a fist and should serve a fist. We should seek a fly whisk and should serve a fly whisk. Nevertheless, people in the temples of Great Sung China today, who call themselves veterans, have never realized the state of Sandeva, even in a dream. How painful it is! How painful! It is that the patriarch's truth is going downhill. Do not shirk hard practice, and you will surely succeed to the lifeblood of the Buddhist patriarch. For example, when the question is put, What is Buddha? and the answer is given, the mind here and now is Buddha. What does that mean? Is this not Sandeva? We should painstakingly investigate who is described by the mind here and now is Buddha. Does anyone know that it is Sandeva jostling? preached to the assembly at Dai Butsuji Temple in Eshu on the 23rd day of the 10th lunar month in the third year of Kangen.